Hi, this is Brian B. Barrett, and I'm at Bar Y University, standing right next to Professor Clower, high atop a vista, looking down on the world below. It's beautiful up here, Barry, but I don't know why you brought me here, other than you just wanted to impress me with the Texas skyline. Um, today's show is, I, go ahead, I have no idea why I'm here. Well, we're just talking about open range, and the main reason we're ah. up here is we're being able to see how vast this country can be. You don't realize how, how large, how vast it is Goes just driving forever. through some trees and brush. Forever. And something about Palo Pena County, where we live, uh, Armstrong County, where we used to live, there's a few other counties. Uh, basically, the whole state of Texas is considered open range, but each county can say they're closed ranged or open range. Now, Explain that. I've seen the oh, movie. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Has so, nothing to do with that, but it. Uh, greatest gunfight, top 10 gunfight. With, it is open range because of the situation that we have with our cattle. In other words, open range means if, if you do not want my cattle, okay, on your land, you have the obligation of putting a fence up to keep my cattle from getting on your land. Okay. That's, that's what now. we're. That's what that we're talking about. More open sense. Range. I recall when we were doing a while back, we did an episode on uh, the water gap. Yes, and there exactly. was a cow. There was a cow that kept getting on some land, so that brought in. So you were talking yep. about an open range issue. It was his yep. obligation to fix the fence. Yes, not the person whose land the cow was going on to. Just opposite. Okay, opposite. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, okay. Yes. Gotcha. If if, yeah. if, I, if your animal is a coming onto my land and I don't want it on there, it's, then and it's your responsibility. Legally, I'm supposed to put a fence up good enough. <laughs> okay. Now, a good neighbor, a good neighbor will okay. go ahead and make that, that next step or, or extra effort knowing that it's, if I know it's my animal causing the problem, sure, sure. then sure, I'm going to help you right. uh, with the repair of that fence or the cost of repair or you maybe. Ever, have you ever uh, had a neighbor that wasn't a good oh, neighbor? Oh yes, there's lots of them. <laughs> there's lots of them and that's where I come in. I've got a couple of neighbors, matter of fact, that the reason we are good neighbors is because if my animals get over on them, I am willing to ha take my tools, my horse, sure. my dogs, feed, whatever I need to do and get them back. Now the neat thing about it is if their animal gets over on me, I still have to get their animal and take it home for them because they don't have that ability. So, I see. Yeah. so it, it's kind of a uh, uh, be a friend, be a neighbor type deal. But if, if you are, are mad, you know, and you don't want to be a good neighbor and you want to call the law, say yeah. you want to call the sheriff's department in, in this particular county and you are upset because my animal's getting on you, then what they will tell you legally, okay, Y'all settle it between yourselves, but legally you have to fix that fence good enough to keep that wow. animal from coming over. Wow. So, uh, so that's what open yeah. range is. And, uh, and then also it helps if, if you have an animal get out on the highway or get out on the road, and Lord forbid, I think human life is way worth a whole lot more than, mm -hmm. than animal life anytime. But if, if the tragedy happens and a car hits the animal, uh, kills the animal, you know, that type deal, uh, you're not liable for their damage and they're not necessarily liable for your damage and, and loss. And so Makes so sense. it's kind of a, a, a good thing, bad thing, you know, a catch-22 uh, type situation there. And so that's that's why, you know, we've, we've got up here and can see uh, really beyond the horizon. As far as what you can see there, you're, you're almost to Stephenville. Uh, huh. which is south of here, which yeah. is Erath County. And that's the reason I brought that up. And you get into to Stevens County over next to us. They are closed range. They are voted uh -huh. closed range. Uh, and so the reason uh, that situation, if you would call the sheriff's department there on an animal, they would call someone like myself to go and pick the animal up and hold the animal until we find the owner. And then the owner would have to pay the damages to your property and pay the expense of having to pick Store up and the remove animal, the animal feed it, take care of it. and get it back home. Wow. A lot of the times people will not claim that animal, especially because if it doesn't have a brand on it, <laughs> because they do not want to suffer the responsibility. At that time, what happens? The astray law is very strict in Palo Pena County. Is it and like these an auto counties. auction except it's cattle? You take that animal after 18 days of advertising and nobody claims it, you take that animal to the auction, wow. that animal sells. Your property damage would be assessed and say, okay, you owe me $500, or I, we owe you $500, we pay you. 
Um, then if they owed me, let's say $500 just for simple math, they pay me for, for feed and taking care uh, in that. And then the neat thing about that is whatever's left over goes into the jury duty fund. And that's how they, they pay, pay for so everybody wins. It's a win-win situation wow. for everybody. So, well, so that's that open is, range. The difference in that in an auto auction is that you can't really find cool CDs in the belly of a cow when no, you get that cow. No, no, you can't. You, 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 you find some downloading, but you don't want or to a three really dog listen, night eight track. Listen to it. Yeah, exactly. And there's your open range. Lots of country out there. So as I as I'm figuring it out here, open range law for Palo Pinto County, for sure, yes. is that if you have an animal right. that is somehow gotten through your fence yep. and come onto my property, right. let's assume I don't want that animal to be on my property. That's correct. Um, it's my responsibility to make sure the fence is fixed. That is correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, I mean, it's kind of a, and, but you know, we're going to be good neighbors. Sure, that's you want to be a good neighbor. But there's a lot of neighbors out there that's not that away. And if their animal gets on you, they don't care. And if your animal gets over there, they don't care. You know, it's just kind of a back and forth. One thing about having really good fences, your cattle can get hungry. You yeah. know, if, if a fence is bad, at least they can get out and go to the neighbors and get something to eat. So <laughs> doesn't, make it, doesn't make it always the best situation, but that's sure. But, but you know, the thing about in a, in a rural area, uh, whether they've moved in from Dallas, bought a place from Fort Worth, whatever, you know, they come in, that's what they want. They want that freedom. They want to come exactly. out here to relax and enjoy being away from the city. And, and you can respect those people for that and thank them because without them, we wouldn't have a job, you yeah. know. And then without yeah. us, they wouldn't be able to have their place taken care of when they're out of town. And uh, just like here on uh, uh, Bill Hurd's place, I mean, super great guy, good place to be. And, uh, and, and I come down, check on his windmill, make sure it's pumping and, and check on my horses that I have down here that's kind of grazing and keeping him taken care of. So, so it's a win-win situation for all of us, you know. And, uh, and then, hmm. the, like I say, the open range, you got to take care and, and check your land pretty regular. Yeah. All right. The way I see it then, it, it, it differs from county to county. So the wise exactly. thing to do would be when you move into an area, Absolutely. Check, check the local, Call State. your sheriff department and call your yeah. uh, go go to the county courthouse in in your county and Make say sure okay here's understand. my brand you know like you're registering your brand or whatever that's mm -hmm. a whole nother deal but but to say okay I'm moving in here this is it, my deal what what do I need to know about my county I'm moving right. in and uh, and and some would want to vote to change that but if they actually lived out here on a full time basis and understood the the uh, the the really necessity of it they they wouldn't they would leave it alone you know is what it amounts to. And, uh, and, and then, you know, any law can be broken and any law can be mended uh, as long as it's the, it's the people that's doing the, sure. doing the work, you sure. know, and that's what it's all about. That's great. Barry, that's thank you. Thank you for you the bet. view. It's thank just you. pretty amazing. Department there on an animal, they would call someone like myself to go and pick the animal up and hold the animal until we find the owner.